Pals educates and informs children between the ages of 6 through 12 about how to deal successfully with everyday situations and challenges using principles of the Bible. I love the music that you write, and it helps me learn more about God. Please don't let her get you. Your friend, Vanessa. <laughs> well, see what I can do about that. Let's see. Where would I find a phone? Oh, here's one. <laughs> okay. Yes. Could you connect me with, uh, Inspector Postnickety? <laughs> uh, yes, tell him a concerned citizen. <laughs> Oh, my children, listen to this one. This letter's from a little boy who gave God's love away. He heard there were some children without toys on Christmas Day. He took out his new truck and with a bowl he wrapped it up. He sent it to those children just to share with them God's love. We are all kids with joy. His mom came in and said, Are you feeling well today? He answered with a smile, I'm showing God's love in this way. We are all kids with just one purpose. We are all kids who want to give up God's love. And as we share His love with others, we'll all be part of Colby's Friendship Club. Thank you. 
somebody strange snooping around outside our clubhouse. Are you sure? He was right there, bro. He was right there. Oh, yeah. Right. Let's be him at the door. Yes, yes, hello. The name's Persnickety. Inspector Persnickety. And I have come to inspect your, uh, clubhouse here, or whatever you call it. <laughs> you seem to be in violation. Yes, in violation. This clubhouse must be torn down immediately. What's a violation? It's like when you've broken a rule, Laura. Oh. Excuse me, but of what are we in violation? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well, never mind that. You're in violation of, uh... Think of something, think of something, think of something. Oh, yes! Do you have a permit for that periscope thingy, young man? Permit? Yes! Every periscope must have a posted permit! And that ladder. ladder. I think I have something about ladders in here. <laughs> yes, right here. Every long ladder leading to a lookout tower must have no more than two steps. Two steps. But we worked hard to make that ladder. Yeah. yeah. Two steps. But then you couldn't get up there. <laughs> Too bad. So sad, short stuff. Oh, I have never heard of ladders being against the law before. Yeah. Yeah. Against the code, my dear. Against the code. You see, I am an inspector, and I am authorized to point out every mistake that I see. Even if I make the rules up myself. <laughs> You see, my name is Inspector Persnickety, and I inspect everything that I see. I will point out each mistake while I write the rules I make, and each inspection must be authorized by me. You see, his name is Inspector Persnickety. Each inspection must be authorized by me. This clubhouse was built by you children. For what purpose? Huh, I haven't a clue. But a house without a sink is no real house, I would think. No, this clubhouse will just never do. But this isn't a regular house, Inspector. It's a clubhouse. Yeah, and a clubhouse definitely does not need a sink. And just how do you wash your hands, young man? Well, first I get a bar of soap at home, and then I get my hands really soapy, and then I rinse it. Oh, you see, his name is Inspector Persnickety. Inside my book, there are regulations. And every clubhouse must abide by these rules. I must issue a complaint about the color of your paint. No, this clubhouse will just never do. There's something wrong with our paint? Yes, code XYZ sub paragraph one, two, three. Every clubhouse must be painted entirely in lavender. Wait a minute, let me see that book. For inspectors only, I can't show you that book. You see, his name is Inspector Persnickety. And he inspects everything that he sees. And if something's overlooked, he will write it in his book. Because each inspection must be authorized by me. I see a shoe that isn't tied, an umbrella left inside. And that spot right on your shirt shows what you've eaten for dessert. Everywhere I turn and look, there is a new rule for my book. I can't remember when I found so many errors to write down. <laughs> Each inspection must be authorized by me! Ha ha ha!
<laughs> so you see, this clubhouse is in violation. Who ever heard of such a thing? I'm afraid that I'm going to have to report you to Drip. 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 What's Drip, Inspector? The Department of Rules. Invented by Persnickety. Uh, this is a joke, right? I yeah. never joke about drip, young lady. Now, if you'll please stand aside, I need to file a complaint. The days of this clubhouse are numbered. I will be back. You can count on it. I don't get it. Me neither. You guys. What if he starts tearing down the clubhouse? He can't. He can't do that. Can he? I don't believe this guy. I mean, why would our clubhouse matter to him? Exactly. Yeah. Perhaps there is a logical explanation for this, although I'm not quite sure what it might be. I sure can't think of anything. Well, God knows what this is all about, and we can trust him, right? Yeah. Yes! But, Colby, what if Inspector Persnickety knows something about the law that we don't? What if there really is a violation? Can he really tear down the clubhouse? Zane, Colby's clubhouse has been here for years. If it's been here that long, why would there be a problem now? Yeah, yeah. I know. My dad says it seems like they're always making up a new rule for everything. Rules can change, but God remains the same. And don't forget Romans 8.28. I guess we can trust God to do what is best. 
even if we don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Of course you can trust God. But can you trust me? <laughs> Vandella Virus wants to kidnap Colby, reprogram him, and use him to make hit songs for her so she can get rich. She can't do that. That's why we need to find her. She's at the door. Well, yes, you don't have to be so happy to see me. What are we here? We got this, uh, hold this. What is this? Cowboy hat? A violin? What is this? Some kind of country music clubhouse? What a... And... And stick pins. Too sharp for children, and we have... Oh, yes, a slide. It's, it's too slippery, way too slippery. Somebody could get hurt. And this mail chute, it is too long and too flat. Somebody could get stuck in there and... What have we here? Hmm. Letters. Lots of letters. Hundreds of letters. What are all of these? Those are just some of the letters we get from kids all over the world. Some of the letters? We have lots more, Inspector. You see, kids write to Colby's Clubhouse to ask questions about the Lord and to tell us what God is doing in their lives. Persnickety! Oh, uh, there! There are more violations over there! Uh, yeah. Let's see if these letters really are what you say they are. Hold this. Dear Colby, my name is Tyrene. And I would like to know what I do if someone is jealous of me. Hmm. Jealous. Persnickety, you're getting distracted. There, there are lots more violations. Shh, what do I do? Pipe down. And, Inspector, if you tear down the clubhouse, kids all over the world will have no place to send their letters to Colby. And the letters will just get returned without even being read. Yes, and with postage due, too, I imagine. That would be a shame. Oh, Inspector. This clubhouse is very safe, Inspector. And we even have this, just to make sure. Well, hmm. Answering these letters seems like a very difficult job. Do you all get paid for this? Oh, no. We don't want to get paid. All we want to do is share God's love with kids everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You see, when God blesses us with his love, we want to bless others, too. Loving others is our way of showing Jesus that we love him. Mm -hmm. yeah. That we love him? Yeah. Kids, I'm afraid I have a confession to make. Actually, you're not in violation of anything. What? You're not in violation of anything. Persnickety. Oh, he used to be so wonderfully corrupt. <laughs> but Persnickety, I thought you said we were in violation of all kinds of things. Yeah. No, I just made it up because I was so upset by all the mail you are getting. And I never get any mail except for bills and bills and more bills. But I never get any letters because I have no friends. You have no friends? No friends. I'll be your friend, Inspector. You want to be my friend? I'll be your friend too, Inspector. Me too. Oh, me too. Yeah. But there's an even greater friend that wants to get to know you. Greater friend? Who could that be? The best friend you could ever have is Jesus. He wants to live in your heart. In my heart? I don't understand. All you have to do is just open the door of your heart to Jesus. How do I do that? You just sit right here, Inspector.
You know, it would be really great to have a friend like Jesus. You can have Jesus as your friend, Persnickety. All you have to do is ask him into your heart and to forgive you. Well, okay. Dear God, please forgive me for all of the selfish things that I have done. Please come into my heart and forgive me and be my best friend. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, thank you, everyone. Inspector Persnickety, would you like to help us read some of these letters? Yeah. 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 Well, of course I would. But first, what? I have to take care of something. What? What? Remember this? Yeah. yeah. worry about your clubhouse, kids. It'll be safe as long as I have anything to do with it. <laughs> I should have known. Colby can't escape me forever. Next time, I shall take care of him personally. <laughs> I shall return! <laughs> Vandella virus just doesn't get it. She's never going to get Kobe because God has his hand on him. That's right. Vandella was really sneaky this time. But God had other plans for you, Inspector Persnickety. Hey, God really does cause all things to work together for good, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. That's right. And you kids watching at home, remember, no matter what happens in your day, God loves you. See you next time on Kobe's Clubhouse.